what a beautiful wedding song africa does have a talent i know the song i just don't know the lyrics i don't know the lyrics but that was beautiful that was beautiful welcome to dream african child on new africa tv for those who don't know me i go by the name of jay marinki and today as you can see we have a young beautiful talented lady by the name of ayanda welcome to the show ayanda thank you sister jay how are you i'm good how are you i'm good can you please tell us a bit about yourself um my name is ayanda mbata i'm the first child of four Abaga Pumzilu Monika Mbata. I was born and bred in Ivory Park. I was I'm I'm actually Christmas baby, so um I'm a special kid. That's what I can say. <laughs> okay. Um when and where did you start playing violin? I started at Tekonisu Secondary School 2009. I was in grade 8. It was a part-time thing at school. We encourage you to never give up, to just keep going. Uh, I can say it's my former musical teacher, uh, Hilary Stobin and Mr. Nelson Nyekumangani. They were always by my side, through thick and thin. There was a time whereby I thought, you know what, I should just give up on this thing. But then they encouraged me to get back. I was in grade 9 by then. Okay, now. Let's talk about the violin that you have. What kind of a violin is this? Uh, this is a full violin, uh, 4 over 4. It's the last bone of the four strings family because we've got a violin, we've got a viola, we've got a cello, and we've got a double bass. So I can say this is the last bone because this is the smallest. It's the smallest one. What is the best way to hold a violin? Mm. I can say the best way to hold a violin is to your elbows must come out of the violin. It must come out like this because there might be consequences if you don't hold it like that. I'm not going to go deep in what type of the consequences, but then I think that's the best position. Okay, so if you don't hold it like that, you're just gonna mess up everything. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. What type of strings uh, does your violin have? Uh, we've got we've got E, the thin one. We've got E, A, D, and G. E string, A string, D string, and G string. Okay. Um, what uh, recordings are we to listen to? Mm, I can say it depends on what type of music you wanna persuade in the in the violin, because most people. They, in the location actually they think a violin is only for classical songs but I disagree with that because there's this gentleman by the name of Ashanti Floyd uh, he plays uh, Beyonce songs so I can I think you can still listen to Ashanti Floyd or you can listen to classical songs or you can listen to any pop and try maybe to rephrase them and do them in a violin piece so I can say any type of music that you want to do you can just do it it doesn't matter what genre you pick okay now let's say i i want to learn how to play a violin but i'm left-handed should you be uh, right-handed to play violin mm, well it's going to be difficult if you're left-handed because we hold a violin with our left hand so with you you just have to adapt using your left as the holding hand and then the right hand as the the one that moves your bow so it's going to be difficult but then i think it is possible you just have to adapt okay meaning that uh, it's going to take you time to get used to it i can say that but if you love it then it won't take long it, it goes with love how important is it to use a shoulder rest uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's that important because you can you, you can play actually without a, a shoulder rest it's just that a shoulder rest lifts it up so that you can be able it gives you that comfortable movement that you want when you play and how often should uh, a violin strings be changed 
I think as soon as they detangle themselves from the pegs, I think that's when you can change or one gets broken. I think that's when you can change. Uh, have you ever tried to play a different instrument and if yes, how good was it? Yes, I have. I tried playing a piano. Well, if you are a string instrument, an instrumental person, you must know a piano because you have to tune. And in most cases, you have to tune using a piano. Like when I was still at school, I had to use a piano. So without me knowing a piano, I was struggling. So I had to learn the piano first. But then I'm not that good, but then I can say I'm getting there. Okay, I can see how much you love playing violin. Um, if you weren't doing music, what do you think you'd be doing now? Um, I think I'd be acting. I'm not sure, but I think I'd be acting. I'm shy. Yeah, but I think I, I, I'd be acting. Have you ever tried it? Yes, on school projects obviously but then nothing major yeah okay um what or who influences you as an artist i can say it's daro hakasem because he's, he was the first person that have that made me realize that uh, i've got an eye for a violin uh on the song to love you more by Dion, that's when i first realized that i love her Um, the hard part is that in music, there's so that music is a big industry, so you just have to know where you want to get to. Because as a, a violinist, I can get to maybe be part of an orchestra, but it's not that simple because of the environment that maybe I'm um, maybe in because I'm from the location. So in the location, if you're playing an instrument like this, they'll think maybe you're so snobbish and stuff like that, you're making yourself better. So I think that those are the difficult parts. They'll always discourage you in the music industry, in the location, that's what I can say. But then the nice part about music is that you get to explore different things, different, yeah, just different things. You can go places with music, um, if you're feeling blue, I believe that music will make you feel awesome again. It depends on how much you love music. Because I haven't seen anyone from the good playing violin as well. Hey, yes. you cannot blame me. Um, okay, um, have you ever been on stage before? And if yes, how was it? Mm, I have, but it wasn't something serious. I was part of the Joy of Jazz musical. Uh, camp is it, it is sponsored by Standard Bank. We were grouping ourselves into different instruments, and then we had to compose our own song and then perform it later on. So it was it was nice, but then it was hectic. Get nervous. There are a lot of people who are watching you. So one mistake, you it's done. How would you describe uh, the relationship with your instrument? Uh, with my instrument, I can say it's a mother-daughter. I don't have a baby, by the way, but then this is my first baby. So it's a mother-daughter relationship. What do you want to achieve in your career? Mm, I would like to be part of an orchestra. Yes, I'd like to be part of an orchestra. I think that's the only thing. What kind of music do you listen to and who are your favorite artists? I listen to pop, R&B and classical of course. Uh, my favorite artist um, is Celine Dion and Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Hudson, Ashanti Floyd. And then on the classical part you can say is Bach and Mozart. This is by, by Mozart, yes. I find those ones interesting. Okay. Um, for those who want to follow you, where can they find you on um, social networks? They can follow me on Instagram, Bata Ayanda One, and Facebook, Ayanda Bata H. Ayanda H. Bata. Sorry. Okay. 
um, in closing, um, uh, what advice can you give to someone who wants to play violin? Never give up. Do what you have to do. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. And violin is sometimes um, it's not that difficult, but if you don't like it, then don't start playing it. It requires a lot of time and practice. I would say practice, 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 and never give up and never listen to those negative comments that are going to come from people. Okay, there you have it, Uzansi. That's her advice. Practice, practice, practice. Now, my advice is do what you love and love what you do. If you can put your mind on it, you can definitely have it. Dream African child. Nothing is impossible. You can do this. Your future is in the palm of your hands. You can do it. If she can do it, if I can do it, you can also do it. Now, if you want to be here in our studio, all you have to do is check us on social networks, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. It's New Africa TV. And there you have it, Mzanzi. From me and Ayanda, we say, dream African child. Till next time. Yeah.